The year is 751 AD. Two powerful empires, the Abbasid Caliphate and the Tang Dynasty, clash in a battle that will reshape the course of history. The prize? Control of Central Asia, a vast region of mountains, deserts, and fertile oases. This region was more than just land, it was a crossroads of cultures and a gateway to riches. For the Abbasids, expanding their Islamic empire meant securing this vital link in the Silk Road. For the Tang, maintaining their control over Central Asia was crucial for their economic and political dominance. The stage was set for a confrontation that would determine the fate of empires. The Abbasids, with their capital in Baghdad, were at the height of their power. They ruled over a vast territory stretching from North Africa to the Indus River. The Tang Dynasty, ruling from Chang'an, was no less impressive. Their empire spanned much of East Asia, from the Korean Peninsula to the Vietnamese coast. Both empires were driven by ambition, a desire for expansion, and the pursuit of wealth and influence. Something had to give. Imagine a network of ancient trade routes thousands of miles long connecting the East and the West. This was the Silk Road, a vital artery for commerce and cultural exchange. It was a conduit for silk, spices, porcelain, and precious metals. Ideas, religions, and technologies also traveled along this ancient highway. Control of the Silk Road meant control of a significant portion of the world's wealth and knowledge. For the Abbasids, securing the Silk Road was crucial for expanding their influence and spreading Islam. It provided access to new markets, resources, and converts. The Tang Dynasty, on the other hand, relied on the Silk Road for trade and tribute. Losing control of this vital trade route would be a major blow to their economy and prestige. The battle for Central Asia was in many ways a battle for control of this economic lifeline. High in the Tian Shan Mountains, near the modern-day border of Kyrgyzstan and Kazakhstan, flows the Talas River. This seemingly insignificant river would become the site of a clash of civilizations. In July of 751 AD, the armies of the Abbasid Caliphate and the Tang Dynasty converged on this remote valley. The stage was set for a battle that would decide the fate of Central Asia. Leading the Abbasid forces was Ziyad ibn Salih a skilled general determined to expand the caliphate's eastern frontier. Facing him was Gao Xianzhu, a Tang general of Goguryeo, Korean origin, known for his military prowess. The numbers were staggering. Estimates suggest that over 100,000 soldiers fought on each side, a testament to the importance both empires placed on this confrontation. Section 4. Tang Momentum and the Karluk Turn of Tide The battle began with a Tang offensive, their heavily armored infantry and skilled cavalry pushed the Abbasid lines back. For days the battle raged, a chaotic dance of swords, arrows, and charging horses. Victory seemed within reach for the Tang, but the tides of war are fickle. Amidst the chaos, a new force entered the fray. The Karluks, a Turkic nomadic people initially allied with the Tang, switched sides. This betrayal, motivated by political opportunism and perhaps resentment towards the Tang, proved decisive. They attacked the Tang forces from the rear, throwing their ranks into disarray. What was a promising advance became a desperate fight for survival. The Tang army caught between the Abbasid forces and the Karluk betrayal began to crumble. Section 5. Victories, Spoils, the Abbasid Ascent. The Battle of Talus ended in a resounding Abbasid victory. The Tang army was routed, with heavy casualties and the loss of their general Gao Xianzhe. The Abbasid Caliphate had not only defended its territory, but had also delivered a crushing blow to the Tang Dynasty's western expansion. The victory solidified their control over Central Asia and paved the way for the further spread of Islam into the region. The defeat at Talas marked the beginning of the Tang Dynasty's decline in Central Asia. Their grip on the region weakened, and they were never again able to project the same level of power. Internally, the Tang Dynasty faced rebellions and political turmoil, eventually leading to their downfall in 907 AD. The Battle of Talas, while not the sole cause, certainly contributed to their decline. Section 6. The Gift of Paper, a Legacy Forged in Conflict. The clash of empires at Talas, while primarily a military encounter, had unintended consequences that resonated far beyond the battlefield. Among the spoils of war were captured Chinese artisans, skilled in the art of papermaking. This ancient Chinese secret, closely guarded for centuries, was about to be shared with the world. 
The Abbasids, quick to recognize the value of this new technology, established paper mills in cities like Samarkand and Baghdad. The knowledge spread like wildfire, reaching Egypt by the 10th century and Europe by the 12th. Paper replaced papyrus and parchment, revolutionizing communication, scholarship, and record-keeping. Imagine a world without paper, no books, no maps, no currency as we know it. The Battle of Talus, ironically, played a pivotal role in bringing this essential tool to the West. Section 7. Echoes of Talus, a turning point in history. The Battle of Talus was more than just a clash of swords and arrows. It was a clash of cultures, a clash of ambitions, and a clash that reverberated through history. It marked a turning point in the balance of power in Asia, signaling the ascendance of the Abbasid Caliphate and the gradual decline of the Tang Dynasty. The battle also had profound cultural and intellectual consequences. The spread of papermaking from east to west facilitated the transmission of knowledge, paving the way for the Renaissance in Europe centuries later. The Abbasids, with their newfound control over Central Asia, embraced its cultural diversity, fostering a golden age of Islamic scholarship and scientific advancement. The echoes of the Battle of Talus can be felt even today, a testament to the enduring impact of this historical clash of civilizations.